Hi, it's Ronnie and welcome to my channel and the Mixed Media Frenzy. This is the layout we're going to be using today and I cut my photo in advance. I wanted to make sure I had that right and I do now. It has a diamond shaped so that was just a little bit different for me and I use this one of Charlie and I thought I'd pull out this old collection. It's my girl and it's my mind's eye, probably about 2013, 2014. So I've had it for a long time and I just took out the sticker sheet and the scraps. I do have a paper pad that's got quite a few papers left in it, but she did not use anything big on her layout. It looks like she just used scraps on it. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, scraps, and then she also used some stickers, and I think she fussy cut some stuff or used her punch and cut the circles out. I've had that collection. I do have a tiny bit left and consider pulling it out and having colors and everything match, but I couldn't find a picture that had those colors, so I just went ahead and went with the one I've got and the gelatos match really well with the one I went ahead and used. Even the yellow. I was worried the yellow would be a little bit off, but it wasn't. It matched the yellows in the stickers really well. I did not notice at first. I thought she just had sprinkles on the page. And then I'm sprinkling away and I'm on my last color and I look up and see that she actually either did the smooshing technique or else she used a brush. So that's why I had to go back through the same colors again. I also forgot to put my paper down on top of my, close to my heart. Self-healing cutting mat. If I, well I have adhesive on the mat itself all the way around the edges there and I just put my paper down every week on top of it and it sticks and then I don't have any on the paper when I get done and I've used that same adhesive for probably two months now or three so it does a pretty good job of sticking there at the top of the page she has like three layers of paper and it's just torn and rather than pull out a big sheet of paper like I said I had the Pa uh, the paper pad but they were whole sheets except for one and it was the one I'd been fussy cutting out of so of course I didn't want to use it because I might want to fussy cut some more and I just went ahead and used the branding strips instead maybe mine isn't quite as wide as hers but I think it's pretty close I think she just used scraps too her titles up there at the top and it's just a I think it's awesome is what it is. I can't tell you 100% sure, but I think it's awesome because I've had that collection and I'm pretty sure, you know, it looks like that from here. It's super tiny on my screen. So I am putting my title up there and there was a banner that says girl, but there was nothing that says my. So I'm just fussy cutting part of the title out on the sticker sheet for the word my, so I'll have my girl. And see these stitches? I have had them probably in, right there on my desk for like six weeks. I would say six weeks because I know I had them all last month and now two weeks in this month. And I've got another strip of them also to go with uh, my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And I kept saying I was going to put them on a the layout and kept forgetting. Well, she has stitches down through her layout. And so it's like two rows. So I made two rows here. And she also has like around that picture. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got, it looks like embroidery thread. It's a lot thicker than the normal thread you see on the layouts when it's wadded up like that. But I used embroidery thread. I had some that matched those stitches that's on there already. So I used the embroidery thread. And so it looks thick like hers does too. So it looks like a frame on my picture. I almost forget it though. I was pretty much done when I looked up there and seen it. And oh man, I got to do it. <laughs> and I would have definitely done it before I put my picture on. If I had thought of it sooner. I am trying to use up. See, see how empty that sticker sheet's getting already. And I only pulled 
off for a minute or so and just stuck them on the layout. And she has stuff here and there. And then she also has doodling. So I am going to do a little bit of doodling, not as much as her, but a little bit. And here I cut these strips down thinking I needed them that size. Well, I get the picture, pull it over there, and looks like I pulled it super quick. <laughs> and seeing that I need them longer, so I'm cutting them in half and spreading them out just a little bit. So they're long enough to stick out a little bit from behind the picture. Um, there's, oh, these are like cut aparts, and I had them in a bag. And there's one that says happy, and then I'm going to pull out one that says smile. And see, I'm putting it on there straight, and then I put the picture up there and realize I'm going to cover the middle of it up. So I put it on the right. And if you look over at her pic her layout, she's got some words on the left-hand side of her picture at an angle. And now I know why, so that she can see them better. I am going to put the word smile there, but since my picture's already there, see, I'm putting it on there now. I was able to put it on there so that it could go ahead and go straight, though, instead of having to be tucked at an angle on the side. I had another little baggie of stuff, and this is um, all, well, it's hearts from my uh, freckle fawn, no, lawn fawn. <laughs> I knew I'd get it. Lawn fawn dye. I had hearts from there, and then I had some arrows. And I think those were from My Favorite Things die. I'm not sure on that one, but I think that's what they are from. Either that or a Sizzix, but I don't think it's a Sizzix die. So I thought I would just go ahead and use them on the layout, too, since she has random things. And mine's going to end up wider because, you know, I put more on there than she did. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good right here. And I should have just put just a tiny bit more on the right on the top and stop but I put more and I do put some of them on phone tape and I do stack things make little tiny clusters here and there oh and there my heart didn't show up good enough I didn't think and what I should have done was doodle around it like she was doing on her stuff instead I went ahead and layered that other heart underneath it well once I use that color behind that heart I had to put it two more times at least on the layout so I put an arrow down behind Charlie's picture and I cut it in half so it'd go all the way across and I also put another heart up there at the top so there'd be three of them on there I am just digging through there and getting whatever I can find mostly it's flowers I think most of it was flowers I had uh, fussy cut at one time or another but the hearts and arrows are also there. And I think I'm getting close to getting done. I'm putting all this on here. Uh, but if you notice, hers is everything is over towards the left. And a little bit off center. So I was trying to do that. I think I got closer to the center than she did, though. And there's my thread. And so I ended up wadding it around my hand to make my circle because I tried to just tuck it in and that wasn't working. I thought, man, I'm going to have to do that four or five times. So I did it around my hand and tucked it and that worked a whole lot better. I decided I needed to repeat it at least once. I don't think she has it repeated, but she has the tassels and uh, I think it's got some like extra stitches here and there maybe some strings hanging from the stitches she has there a little bit so i thought i needed to re repeat it at least once on there and these enamel dots are dear lizzie 2014 i looked when i was opening them i thought these are old i've seen them over and over again and haven't pulled them out but i thought as soon as i seen them this time perfect colors and they are so i'm scattering them around the page Instead of uh, putting them like in clusters of three, I thought I'd just scatter them around the page. And here's where I'm doing my little bit of doodling. I'm not doing a whole lot. Uh, she doodles on the splotches, so that's what I did. Only she doodled on a few other things, too. I think she used a couple of stamps, but I didn't have stamps that looked like that. So I decided to pull out 
my heart stamps. And I did show you several stamp sets because I thought about using the stamps instead of the stitches. Well, I thought if the stitches didn't stick good enough on my paper, I would use the stamps to show my stitches. I wasn't going to sew on this one. <laughs> I was going to take the easy way out somehow. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm still working on the stamps. And one of the stamps, I'm doing them second generation on all of them because I didn't want it really bright. But that one there on the left in the middle, I for forgot and went straight down on the paper. So it does look darker. But the rest all do look second generation. But that's it. That's my layout. Be sure to check the other gals out and see what they did with their uh, lay uh, scrapbook lift is what we did this week. Sometimes we work on the sketch, but it's getting harder and harder to find the mixed media looking sketch. It's a whole lot easier to find layouts to scrap lift. But see how those stamps are? Aren't they cute? Uh, I've had them forever. They're close to my heart. And they go with another, with a whole set. But all I did was use the little tiny ones off on my layout. But if you leave a comment below, I will get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who are, thank you so much. But check out the other gals. Their links will be down there below. And see what they did with their layout, with their scrap lift this week. Thanks so much. Have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.